Good evening and welcome back Jayhawks. My name is Denalyn Vasquez and you are now tuned into the first episode of season two of Brains and Beauties. And my name is Spencer Mills Kamala and if you don't know, Brains and Beauties is a student-run weekly show dedicated to Jayhawks experiencing the nuances of growing up. Our goal is to help you whether or whether that be about fashion, uh, teaching you about beauty, common or even uncomfortable topics, and we are building a community of like-minded and positive people, bringing you a safe space during your time here at KU. So Spencer, how was your summer going? My summer went pretty well. Really? I was usually at the lake, you know, oh, enjoying the sun. Yeah, where are you from? I'm from Hayes. Where are oh, you from? Oh, really? I'm from Salina. Oh, okay, nice. So we're not too yeah, far Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. What lake did you go to? I went to Wilson Lake. Okay, it's very I was going to say, I love Wilson Lake. Oh, my God. I just recently discovered that there's a little like trail that leads oh to God. the lake and it has uh -huh. like pillars that goes out. Have you seen it? I have not. It is so beautiful. Okay, hidden and beauty. It, I love yes, that. it is like hidden and and you're kind of it kind of looks like you're like in uh, I can't explain yeah. it. It's like some part of Arizona maybe. Oh, like I little, love that. It's like orange yes. rocks. Okay. It's so beautiful. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I need to go check that out. You need to. I was wondering though, how has your first two weeks been coming up to school? Um, my first two weeks of school have been um, I think just getting into it. Mm -hmm. I think pretty good. Good. I good. liked it. I'm enjoying yeah. it. Are you enjoying your classes? I am. I am enjoying my classes. That's I'm good. Did I you enjoy. participate in any of the back to school events for like Hawk I did Week? Not. I did not participate. I didn't, I didn't even know to. that they were going on, honestly. Really? No. Usually they do a better job of communicating, yeah. but you didn't participate either? No, I didn't get a chance to go to Hawk Week this year, mm. but I heard it was really good. Yeah. I heard there were a bunch of activities going on. There was the involvement fair, um, KJHK mm. had a bunch of DJs and they were giving out tote bags. Okay. Um it was just a big blast. Um, okay. If you didn't have a chance to make it this year to Union Fest, you need to make sure to attend next year. Student Union Activities typically host this event every year before school begins. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, I think that's important too, I to show so. up to I think so, especially for newer students. Yeah. Oh, speaking of events, if you want to stay in the loop of all the events taking place this year, the Cork app to keep track of everything, use the Cork app to keep track of everything going on. Keep in mind that you will be able to keep up with your favorite organizations as well as finding new ones on campus to continue to expand your social group. We're happy to be hosting for you today, Jayhawks. Let us get kicked off with Sports Corner with Caroline. Hello and welcome to Sports Corner. I'm Caroline Spaeth with your KU Sports Update. We are three weeks into the new school year and two football games in. On August 29th, KU kicked off the season against Lindenwood University, starting strong with a 48-3 win at Children's Mercy Park. Last weekend, KU traveled to Illinois and unfortunately lost 23-17 against U of I. It was a tough loss, but it's still early in the season. This Friday, KU will be playing UNLV at Children's Mercy Park at 6 p.m., so let's pack the stadium in support. Speaking of Jayhawk football, last year KU introduced a series of new uniforms, which includes the infamous Blackhawk uniform. The football team has now unveiled a brand new all red pants and jersey look with the Kansas across the chest and bolded letters. The sleeves of the arms say rock chalk between two stripes. So what are our thoughts? Do we love the new look? Personally, I love it. I think it's amazing. 10 out of 10. Let's see what Denalyn thinks as she teaches us about a cool brand of shoes. I like the jerseys. I think that those look cool. I think they look really sleek. I personally think that red is a really big color that like catches the eyes. So I enjoyed that, Caroline. Thank you for bringing that up. Going on to shoes. Have you guys seen people walking around with shoes that have a split in the toes? Although many people think that these distinguishable shoes have just started trending, the reality is that these shoes actually date back to over 600 years ago. In the 15th century, Japan had the jikitabis, which were known for a sock that had the slit in the middle for Zori and Geta shoes. These sandals were very common in Japan, and they were helpful to accommodate people to be able to wear them with their shoes in the sandals. The socks then transformed into the jikitabis, which is the sock with the rubber bottom. 
Once the tabbies adapted to the rubber bottom, they became a very famous shoe for construction workers in Japan. It's because it allowed a lot of grip and agility and mobility, and these shoes became a big fashion statement when Martin Margiela traveled to Japan in 1988 and saw the shoes on the feet of construction workers. After this, Margiela brought the shoes to the runway, and the shoes were brought to the runway in a very clever and memorable way because it was the way that Margiela had taken the shoes and not only to let people see them more clearly, he had coated the bottom of the shoes in red paint. So every time one of the models had been walking, you could distinguish how the shoe was different because of the shape because it had the split bottom. And since then, shoes have become a very big staple in the fashion community. Just this past year, we have seen celebrities such as Pedro Pascal, Cardi B, and Dua Lipa wearing a pair of the tabbies. The pair of the infamous Margiela tabbies cost around $1,300, but of course you can always find a dupe on Amazon for like 30 bucks. And that's all for today, but hopefully you learned something new about fashion. So let's hop back to Spencer to talk about politics. Thank you, Dana Lynn. And it's no question that Vice President Kamala Harris is putting fashion back in the White House. From her tailored pantsuits to her pearls and her Converse sneakers, she's putting a twist on professionalism in a modern and cutting edge way. Her fashion choices on their own are statements. So today I'll be talking about Kamala's fashion choices and the impact that they have. Kamala knows how to make a statement with the colors she wears. She continuously wears bold colors like maroon, dark green, and white that can help her shine and stand out. For her inauguration in 2021, she chose a royal purple Christopher John Roberts dress and coat. This outfit spoke to many, and all eyes were on her for this statement. Choosing purple showed her regalness and grace, but also bipartisanship through the mixing of Democratic blue and Republican red a clearly strategic and important outfit. And during World Pride in 2019, Kamala Harris went to the parade in San Francisco to join others for the celebration. She rocked a bedazzled jean jacket in the colors of the rainbow flag for solidarity for the community. This means a lot to the community and it shows her love and support for them. And lastly, during her address to the nation after becoming vice president, Kamala wore a white pantsuit and a white silk blouse paying homage to the suffrage and feminist movement. And these are just three looks that, have, that she's turned out and have made a statement. Clearly, if she puts so much thought into her outfits, she'll put thought into her presidency as well. Let's see what Anya has to say about the music and fashion. <laughs> Thanks, Spencer. Last but not least, this summer was one for the books. Nicki Minaj has been on the road for her Gag City tour, bringing on various artists ranging from Tyga, Bia, 50 Cent, and more. She's been giving fans what they've been wanting. Nicki. The Pink Friday 2 tour has been so successful that according to Newsweek, Minaj broke the record of highest grossing touring female rapper, making $67 million performing at prestigious venues like Madison Square Garden. Outside of her touring, this year Nicki launched her first shoe collection with British brand, I think it's called Loki. Her shoes came in four silhouettes with 11 colorways. Let's take a look at these shoes. Nice combination of colors, playful prints. Is this the new style for the girlies or is it a flop? The real question is, how are the barbs at KU feeling about this? <laughs> Let's wrap up with Spencer and Denilyn. Okay, well, I'm gonna be so honest. I think that the shoes kind of look like a mix of like Jordan 1, um, Dunks and Air Forces. Yeah. Uh, I'm personally not a fan. I just think that they look like a copy or like a dupe yeah. of the shoes that are already out. But I just think that it's really hard to be creative. Yeah, especially because we have so many like vast shoes out there already. It's like kind of hard to make up your own ones. But yeah, yeah. Personally, can y'all hear me? Have you ever heard of Krispies? Krispies? No, I have not. Krispies? Uh, the Simmons 
daughters made them a few years, a while back. The pastry I, shoes. I have pastry never heard shoes. Of those. <laughs> They're yeah. called pastries, and the Simmons girls made them, and that's what it looks like. I need that. That's okay. They can hear me. They don't need to see. Um, Are they edible? No. Okay. They, if you look up their, um, like their campaign, it was uh, all about cupcakes and things like oh that. Oh my God, so that's cute. Yeah. That I like cute. that. So, are you a Barb? I, I am a Barb. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I think that's how a lot okay. of girls feel sometimes with Nikki. But it's hard because I respect her so much and I love her music. But sometimes she does some things. But Yeah, I was going to say she's the, human. the stuff that happened with her and I think it was Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah. Yeah, not a big fan of that. Um, and also, you know, her baby daddy. Is not yeah. the best person in the world. We don't talk about that, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about that. <laughs> oh, I think after that, I was just like, mm, I don't know. Yeah, but I, I liked her last album, Pink Friday, too. Oh, yeah, that was good. I liked that yeah, album. Yeah. I, I liked Yikes fun. when she came out with Yikes. Mm, that yeah, was pretty good. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> I listened to that for a bit. Yeah. Okay, well, that's our first show for this week, Jayhawks. Stay tuned as we get kicked off with more fun content for the second season. Stay classy. Thank you.